Uh, Noah in Madison, Wisconsin. Hey, Noah, atheism is indeed a religion when it's evangelical. Okay, well, are you ready to do some contemporary-style analytic philosophy, Tom? Certainly. All right, let's do it. All right, first of all, we need to agree on a definition of the word religion before we can go anywhere. So what exactly? What is your, what is your definition of a religion? My definition of a religion, it, to paraphrase Paul, is a belief in things unseen and unknowable with certainty. And I would add to that what makes it an evangelical religion, which are the, is really my definition of a religion, or my definition of a certifiable religion, is uh, that someone not only believes in that, but aggressively tries to get others to share that belief. Okay. Well, I have several other definitions from my Oxford American Dictionary. Uh, number one being belief in the existence of a superhuman controlling power, especially of God or gods, usually expressed in worship. Number two, a particular system of faith and, not the exclusive or, and worship, for example, the Christian religion. And number three, something which I think maybe we can agree on, something compared to religious faith as a controlling influence on a person's life. But see, I would say that all three of those, atheism fits perfectly all three of those. Read me the first one again. A belief in the existence of a superhuman controlling power, especially of God or God. Okay, a super a superhuman controlling power. Um, an atheist would, I, I believe, acknowledge that there are all kinds of forces beyond their control that are, that are shaping and determining their lives and the future of this planet. Global warming, for example, a, hu a superhuman controlling power. Uh, you know, a, a oh, sure, religious person may say... Natural. Pardon? I think I, I, I take that superhuman controlling power to be... Um, I, I I'm taking it literally. It it's, it's larger than humans. Superhuman means larger than human. Okay, there's right. all kinds of... You know, the, the sun is superhuman, and it controls our weather. Okay. So that's definition one. What was the second definition? A particular system of faith and worship. Okay, if a person believes that there is no God, how is that not a system of faith? And the worship. We've got to look at this as... We okay, then now, we've gotta, now we have to define worship, um, which means flip to the W's in the dictionary. So let's not go there, because I, I, let's not drag this. So what's, what's your, you know, let's you and I debate well, rather than me and the dictionary debate. Okay, well, let's say... Um, that it's something compared to religious faith as a controlling influence on a person's life. Okay. I can agree to that. But in that case, vegetarianism is a religion. Yep. Uh, if you're really into painting, that's a religion. If well, really, if, it, if, it, uh, if it controls your life, I would say, you know, vegetarianism yeah, if you're, if you're can artist, be. And you get your meals that way and your income, um, sure. whatever, and you really enjoy it. There, I, there have been times when my religion uh, was vegetarianism is a religion. in my life. I, yeah, there are some people for whom football is a religion, don't you think? Yeah, but um, in that sense, it's nothing like the way that Christianity is a religion, or Islam, or Buddhism, I see or... people. Hey, listen, I you know uh, over the holidays we watched the uh, uh, it was Notre Dame was playing uh, University of Southern California. We watched the Notre Dame USC game, and you tell me that the people in those stands that were all painted up in gold or in red. And you know, with their faces painted and their signs and everything, are not even more enthusiastic than your average holy roller in church. Well, uh, yeah, but I wouldn't call it a religion. Yeah, it's you know, it's stretching it to call it a religion because they don't believe that if Notre Dame wins the game, they're going to have a better afterlife. Although right. some of the players seem to believe it, I noticed several of them kne kneeling down and crossing themselves on the field. I thought, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, but that's they're also kind of crossbreeding um, Christianity or whatever their particular faith is with their football. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyhow, you're, how, you have not succeeded in convincing me that well, a, atheism is a not a religion. My, my, my view is that atheism is a rejection of all religions. But a rejection is a positive thing. It's an affirmation. No, it's a negative thing. No, a negative thing. This is yeah. uh, Robert. Robert McKee is brilliant about this. If you ever read his book story or attended his seminars on on uh, how to you know how to write uh, screenplays and, and novels, the opposite of love is not hate. 
the the opposite of love is indifference. That that is the the double negative. If the double positive is love and the positive is like, the negative is hate and the double negative is indifference. The extreme opposite. So I would say the extreme opposite of religion is indifference. And you know, if you if you are asserting a negative belief, that's an assertion. That's not the opposite of asserting belief. That is simply asserting something else. It's asserting non-belief. Okay. I would say uh, somebody who is a true atheist, if you're suggesting that atheism means somebody with no belief system about anything that exists beyond what they can sense with their very limited senses, um, then... Well, that's like then, my dog. Yeah, yeah. I would say that, you know, that that skept that uh, you know non you know you just never think of it well maybe that person's a real atheist or a real agnostic actually but anybody okay, who so if uh, i could get my two cents in um we have a minute left i just <laughs> uh, so we agree that football can be like a religion or you can have religious it sort can of. be a controlling influence on a person's life um they can have it can be a, compared to like a religious faith in that way, um, or um, certain other activities, or yeah. And therefore, way. atheism can be too, or not. I'm, for that, in my opinion, there are many people who are atheists who are not religious about their atheism, and therefore, it's not a religion for them. And the example I gave when I started telling the whole story was my dad. But but I do think that for many people it you know if they're if particularly you know if they're going to like call into a talk show and defend it it's a religion. Noah, uh, we, we will have to live to debate this another day because uh, we are flat out of time. The show is over.